Good morning, people. Watch him at 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. When I say past, present, and future, I mean all of your sins. That's why when you accept Christ as Savior, you've automatically changed your mind. You've automatically repented because... Repentance is metanoia, change of mind, of how you felt about Christ and how you feel about sin. So that happens the moment you accept Christ as Savior. He shed his blood for our past, for present and future sins, all of our sins. It is, he was buried and rose again on the third day for all of our sins. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. That's what Barry was talking about in his... Uh, live feed. It is only belief in Christ that you're saved. Nothing else. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of yourself, not of works, lest any man should boast. Works is something that happens after you're saved. You're not saved by works. You're saved for works, which is where your rewards and crowns come from when you get to heaven. You can't put works in the equation for salvation. Don't work like that. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. That's, that's the gospel. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of a savior, and you put your faith and trust in Christ and accept him as savior. And when, you do, when you've done that, you're saved doesn't get any simpler as that. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. People are coming against once saved, always saved, more than ever, like he said, and people are coming against the rapture, more than ever, like he said. People are coming against Paul, and I had said that a few months ago. A lot of women, and that's coming, a lot of that, is coming from the Pentecostal movement, that they don't like Paul because Paul talked about women preaching in the pulpit at a church and that women are not allowed to teach or preach to men. So a lot of women have a problem with that. Now let me get something straight with those of you who are new to this channel. I am not a preacher. I am not a teacher. I'm just giving the Great Commission, which is the gospel. I do it by video because it's easier for me, and that's all I do. I'm not a preacher because women don't preach. That's the, I, I, people can get upset with that. You can, call what, you can call me whatever. Don't matter to me. I have to go by what the Word of God says. Not what, I have to go by what thus saith the Lord, not what thus saith someone else. And that's the bottom line. That's why a lot of people don't like Paul. And mostly it's women. I'm just being real. I'm being 100% honest because it's the truth. I got to give you this article. And this is about the farmers. Farmers war uh, warn about rising food prices. Grocery bills will go up to $1,000 a month. thousand dollars a month for a family of four or five like what I have that ain't good we're getting hit on every front on uh, every expense possible from fertilizer to fuel to labor insurance everything in between our packing supplies so we operate and this uh, this comes with a video too we operate a small farm in Oklahoma 100% of our sales are farm to home delivery. And so we're driving across the state and you know the fuel costs are really painful for us. I would say our increases are roughly 25 to 30%. This is the person in this, uh, in this video here. And I think that will soon be reflected at the grocery stores. Of course it will, absolutely it will. 
on top of what we're already seeing, these fertilizer prices, price increases, increases haven't really affected the grocery store prices yet. Not yet. In some, in some areas it has, like in meat, it has, but it hasn't affected, he's right about that, it hasn't affected the grocery store prices yet. You might see a little bit of it, but you don't see a, you're not seeing a lot of it yet. He goes on to say, that will come this summer. So everybody who has all these big cookouts and graduation parties and grilling, you're not going to you probably won't see too too many people doing that. And this is from farmer uh, Ben uh, Riench. I can't pronounce his last name. He recently told Tucker, soaring fertilizer prices are likely to bring spiked food prices. And it is a fact. Now, with everything going on, there's no way the stock market should be the way it is. The stock market looks normal. That's because they're printing money and they're feeding the stock market. Folks, what comes up, like in the stock market, is going to go down. It's going to crash. And I'm thinking it's going to crash big time this year. He goes on to say, if you're upset that gas is up a dollar or two a gallon, wait until your grocery bill is up $1,000 a month. And it might just manifest itself in terms of price. It could be qual uh, qu quantity as well. Empty shelf syndrome may be starting. Some people are preparing for coming food prices by stockpiling on long-lasting food. Now, we saw this before. And there's a strong possibility that it's going to happen again. It's a strong possibility it's going to happen again. Um, I'm going to link this in the description box. Because, um, like I said, this video, this guy's, this farmer's video is on here. I keep saying, and I, I've said it over and over again, this can't go on much longer this cannot go on much longer everything that we're seeing right now and I've said it before is in preparation for who's coming there has to be somebody coming to put peace back in the situation and it's not going to be Christ it's going to be the Antichrist and it's going to be a pseudo peace but people are going to fall for him. Just like people fall for everything that's going on with the democrats that's talking all this stuff that people know is not true. That's what's going to happen. I said it before and I'll say it again. The church is in the way of that happening. So the church has got to be gone soon. I'm going to link this in the description box. I will um, I will be back. I want to give you all a thank you. Not only for your support and your prayers, but for being family. I appreciate that a lot. If anything comes up between now and the time I come back from the range, I will let you know. But in the meantime, I'll be back later. Thank you.